Okay, we've got uh, Photoshop Elements 9 open here, and we're going to show you how to make... Uh, we're going to do a little maintenance first. First time you use up 9, this is what we need to do. We're going to go to Edit, we're going to go to Preferences, and then we're going to come down here to Units and Rulers, and we're going to make sure the rulers is on pixels and not on inches. Normally it'll come in inches, you're going to change that to pixels, and just say OK. Next thing we're going to do is we want to see the rulers, so we have to be in full edit mode, full mode, in edit, and we're going to go to view, and we can't do anything until we bring a photo up. Uh, the windows that you see, or the view of the panels, uh, the effects right here, we don't need those, so we're going to get rid of them. At least we're going to show it so we don't see it. But we do want to see our layers. And our panel bin, that's this bin down here in the bottom. I like to have a little more real estate, a little more viewing area. So I'm going to take, get rid of, whoop, wrong one. View, window, panel bin, window, project bin. That's what I mean. The project bin is going to be gone. Now it just hides it. It doesn't delete it or anything. But now we have our layers and we have our content on our layers. Effects if we want them and then our layers. And we're just going to collapse this. Uh -oh. So we're going to close it. So all we can see is our content and our layers. And that's what we really want to see. So now to make a background. We've done a little bit of that. We're going to go File. We're going to go New. I'm going to go Blank File. And it's going to then the preset we want to check is Photo. And then here it gives us different sizes whether we want a landscape or a vertical a horizontal or a vertical uh, let's do a uh, vertical portrait four by six print four inches by six inches by 300 dpi these are should be all set for you uh, check your printer i believe most of the printer outputs now are at 300 if you have uh, a question contact me and i'll tell you what the resolution is for your printer uh, but 99% of them are 300. So we're going to say OK. And that's going to give us a white square and also add a layer called background in the back of our, in, in our layers palette over here. We now have a background layer, which is basically just the bottom layer. So now if we want to add something to our background, we got a plain white one. We can work with that, but let's add a little color, a little something. So we can come over here. And we could pick any one of our content by type, by color, by mood, object, anything that you'd like. Um, activity, it's going to change them. Um, give us some different options for backgrounds uh, by event. Uh, if we want to look, you know, maybe we're doing a baby event, we're doing an auto drive. Um, so I'm just going to go here to type. And we're just going to pick pick one of these. Doesn't matter which one. Uh, let's just pick uh, this blue one, and we're going to bring the blue one over. And then we drag it over here. It now changes our background to this blue color. Now that's a really nice looking little blue. Be a nice background for our photographs. So as it is right now, this is our background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As. And you want to organize your files, and I'm just going to say don't show this again, because I never do. But I am going to save this onto my desktop. I'm going to put a new folder, and we're going to name this whatever uh, the folder is for our job. So let's say this is Chuck and Mary Jane Wedding. So let's say we got a Chuck and Mary Jane Wedding. I'm going to spell her name right. Um... And we're not going to save it as a JPEG file. We're going to name this now Background, B-A-C-K-G-R-O-U-N-D. And instead of Photoshop, we're going to save it as a JPEG. J-P-G, JPEG. Okay, under Chuck and Mary Jane's Wedding, JPEG. And we're going to say Save. And we're going to go to the 10 is okay. You can go to 12 if you'd like. We'll go to 12. It just makes a bigger file. Actually, you will not see anything uh, by sight. You are not going to see anything at all. 
So anyway, that's it. That's how easy it is to make a background. Uh, let me come back in a minute. We'll start with a new, uh, new uh, video, and I'll show you how to um, make a header.